bone broth, according to followers of animal foods diets like paleo and keto, will tell you that it's wonderful for your skin, hormones, joints, and even for people suffering from colds. But what about your gut? Yes, they will also tell you that bone broth is good for your gut and that it can even heal what is called a leaky gut. What if any scientific evidence is there to back any of this up? Well, this is what I'm going to talk about in today's video. Hi, it's Paul Tarthy, nutritionist and lifestyle coach at Rawson and Healthy, helping you achieve a healthy body, healthy hormones, and the body of your dreams naturally. Now, just before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell notification so you stay up to date with our latest videos. So first off, what is bone broth exactly? Well, bone broth is heated broth or soup that is made from animal bones such as pig, cow, turkey, lamb, chicken, etc. Also added to the bone broth to make it more palatable are typically vegetables like carrots, celery, onion, garlic, parsnips, turnips, sweet potatoes, and some added herbs as well. Now, there are many claims made by proponents of bone broth that it can help improve your health, including helping improve your joints, improving your skin, helping your bone health by boosting your calcium intake uh, from all the animal bones, and also helping improve your gut health. Now, in today's video, as I said, I want to focus today on the claim regarding gut health. How exactly is bone broth supposed to improve your gut health? You will typically hear the claim that bone broth can help maintain the layer of mucus lining in the intestinal wall with the aid of gelatin, which is all the proteins boiled down in the bone broth. Now I have a question for you. Have you ever made bone broth for yourself? And if so, do you think it helped you with your health? Please, as always, leave your comments in the comment section below, as I love hearing from you. Now, present in many foods, both animal and plant, is what is called glutamine, which is an amino acid. And it is this amino acid specifically, which is a building block of protein, that can help build the gut and deal with problems like a leaky gut, also known as intestinal permeability, which is basically when your gut lining allows things that it shouldn't do to go through it and into your bloodstream. So proponents of bone broth will tell you that there is glutamine in bone broth and so it's great for your gut health. Bingo, eat plenty of it. And yes, there is glutamine in bone broth with all the animal protein, but you can also find this same amino acid called glutamine in many other foods, which are in fact much healthier for you. Foods which can not only supply your body with glutamine, but also actively feed your friendly gut bacteria with lots of super healthy plant fiber. And ironically, these are the kinds of foods that people who make bone broth will be putting in their bone broth, which are the vegetables I talked about before, like sweet potatoes, turnips, parsnips, celery, onions, and herbs, for example. And it is in fact these that are the true health foods and not the bones that are in the bone broth. In fact, the most nutrition that someone will get from the bone broth is not from the boiled animal bones, but from all those vegetables that they put in there with them to make it more palatable. In fact, you can get much more calcium from the vegetables themselves that you put in the broth than you can from the bones themselves. So knowing that glutamine can aid with gut health and you can get it from much healthier sources and some of these include things like beans, for example, and beets and cabbage, uh, spinach, uh, juices, green juices, nuts and seeds, lentils, peas, for example. These plant foods will contain also fiber, which helps feed and grow your friendly gut bacteria and so maintain a healthy gut, but also vitamins and minerals, plant protein as well, which is healthier than animal protein. And it's also packed full of antioxidants, which is great for your body. So it's there to help with stop disease and slow down the aging process. And when you consider that even organic animal bones have been found to have significant levels of toxic heavy metal lead in them, which is a potent neurotoxin, then it makes a lot more sense to drop these bones, whether they are organic or not organic, and go with the plant foods instead for increased health and well-being. In truth, there is no real scientific evidence to back up the claim that bone broth in particular is ideal for healing your gut, like many of the other claims as well made about bone broth. So it'd be much better off having the veggie broth instead and dropping the bones. We've helped lots of women heal their gut issues over the years with the help of a high carb, low fat, whole foods, plant-based diet that has lots of raw foods in it. This diet is super healthy for your gut and can help you return your digestion to normal without bloating and gas and is ideal for healing an issue like leaky gut, which can lead to serious health problems further on down the line. So if you're wondering exactly how can I put it all into practice to reverse gut issues and other health challenges, then I would like to invite you to our free online masterclass where you can learn the five steps that our clients use to balance their gut issues naturally and lose up to 50 pounds of excess weight without carbohydrate restriction. To make sure to grab your spot, visit www.rawsomehealthy.com forward slash webinar.
Thanks for watching.